안녕하세요. Hi, this is Master Billy. I'm from Korea. I've been practicing Taekwondo for over 20 years. And today we're going to watch a karate video for the, um, well, the first time for me. The title is Korea, Karate Japan vs Italy Final Male Team Kara. That should be the equivalent to Taekwondo Pumse. WKF World Karate Championships 2012. So WKF should be World Karate Federation. Okay, so let's check it out. Right. Oh, it's a team battle. The red belts. And the, what the equivalent to that is in Taekwondo. Japan. Which Japanese people have so much self-discipline and they have so much, so many martial arts. Like judo, karate, kendo. Uh, that's why I love martial arts. I like it's respect. You know, it teaches self discipline. Yep, bow. Don't they? Oh, they're so in sync. You can tell from the entrance. Uh, when they stand, the feet point out. It's so different. Taekwondo is always toes together. That's why, why I always tell my students. Kata is called Unzu. So I'm guessing this is a recognized official kata. That's such a unique way to start. Taekwondo Pumza is always you know, the standard. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, it's so smooth. I think that's why the, the contrast the contrast makes it so so much it looks so much stronger. Oh it's really fast. It's, it's, and it's in, so in sync at that speed. I'm sure they've been practicing for like 6-8 hours every day for like a couple of months. It's really hard to get in sync at that speed. The step one comes out is we have more rhythm, like breathe in, breathe out rhythm. I wonder how they practice timing for this. It's probably just Drill it, drill it, keep drilling it. So, so much impact. Like every transition to another stance. Ooh. Even those aerial moves, they are really in sync. That's actually really hard to do. Okay, I'm guessing that's the end because we usually end with a shout, Kiap. And respect. It's like respect. Oh, they're not done. They're doing self defense right after the kata, which is very unique because Taekwondo Kunze usually the original ones they last they usually last less than a minute. And that's the end. We don't add self defense. Pumse is very energy consuming, it's tiring, but I think Kata should be similar as well. So, on top of self defense that they're doing now, that means really using a lot of energy. Karate has a lot of groundwork 
I don't know they have so much ground techniques. I go down on the ground, roundhouse kick. That's new. I should try that. Ground attack, turning roundhouse kick. Try self defenses. Wow. Does two people think at that speed is really impressive? It's so clean. And compared to the Taekwondo self defense, like the demonstrations, I guess this would be, they would do more. Part by part, whereas Tech Owner would just go all in in one whole part. Oh, nice. Advance. Throw. Oh, this, they have a lot of energy. Because tech on the demonstration is like we have so many people going in at one time, it's like you don't know who's who. But this is like three solid people doing like the whole routine by themselves. This is really tough. To memorize the whole routine is one thing, but to execute it in such perfection without making any mistakes. Well, I don't think they're making any mistakes. Oh, nice jump side kick, ground turning kick. Oh, so close to the neck. It's so much accuracy. And the punches too, I mean... If they even go a few centimeters closer, that would be contact. The end? Okay. Yep, I think that's the end. Oh, respect. Oh, they walk back. I thought we usually turn first and then we exit. I think karate. Kata is really amazing. I mean, first it's gonna be hard for me to memorize because compared to Taekwondo Kumze, where it's so symmetrical and organized, you start and then you do it left and then you do the same thing on the right and then you start and finish on the same points. But when you see the kata we just saw, it's like there's no set routine. They just even the directions they go is not left and right. They go like diagonally. So I don't know if this was the freestyle version, because if it was freestyle, this Taekwondo freestyle is also quite complicating. Karate, Kata really has so much impact, so much speed, and so much accuracy as well. And the three people, they have such good timing and sync. I mean, stances wide, is, it's similar to Taekwondo, all the stances. We probably bought a lot of it from Karate. But I really like that, that those arm movements, they go like... <laughs> It's so fast. It looks so strong and so in sync. It's probably the biggest difference between the Taekwondo Pumze. Probably because we don't have as much hand motions. Oh yeah, so all in all, I think Kata really looks really powerful. That's one word I would summarize this whole video. It's so powerful. Well, I think the next video I'm probably going to watch is going to be the second half, it's 2012. I'm really curious to see how Italy does because that would be my second kata I'm watching in my lifetime. So yeah, let's check out the video for Italy next time. Alright, see you guys.